Hi all, welcome to the Urmi Academy. And uh, today topic I'm going to discuss is SQL MCQ set 01 and it can apply to the MySQL and uh, SQL server. And uh, how you guys, how to practice is, I have, I am going to give you the one link in the description. You can open the link and start practicing it at the end of the MCQ. You can submit button. You can view the whatever the summary it has. It is going to give you the score. Okay, let me show you the one by one. Okay, so this is the link I'm going to give you in the description. Take this link. Okay, and go to the browser and paste it. And, and then email. You, you have to put the email ID guys. Okay, email ID is a mandatory. Okay, so put your email ID and scroll down. And uh, first question, uh, we are going to check the first question. What is the pull form of SQL? Okay, is it structure query language or sim uh, simple query language, structure query language or none of the above? I'm going to choose the structure query language. Okay, let us move on to the next question. Which SQL constant do you use to set the sum value to a field whose value has not been added explicitly? It means, okay, the whenever we are inserting the data to the particular uh, table, so we have to mention the some uh, values without mentioning the uh, values it is taking the sum values means the which constant is doing that work is default okay and uh, you choose this I, I am going to show you the which one is correct and which one is not correct at the end of the this one it is going to display for you okay and let us move on to the next question okay which of the following statement is true okay please read it carefully okay this is during the intro this kind of questions are very, very important. You should be uh, practice this very carefully, guys. Okay. Which of the following statement is true? Unique key cannot be null. This is true. No. Primary key are unique and not null. Primary key can have the duplicate value. No. Primary key can have the null. No. Primary key are unique and not null. Okay. This is the this one I am choosing. This is the correct answer here. Okay. And let us move on to the next question. Select the correct foreign key constraint. What is that? First option is entity integrity, refer referential integrity, domain integrity, none of the above. And which one is the correct? According to me, the referential integrity. I am going to choose this. At the end of this one, we'll see whether I am correct or not. Okay. And which of the following is not the DDL command? You can choose the what are the DDL command, all the all the steps. Okay. The truncate is the DDL command. Yes. Alter is the DDL command. And update is not the DDL command. Create, yes, it is the DDL command. Then what it is the update? Update is DML command. I am going to choose this. They are asking not the DDL command. Uh, truncate, alter, create. It is going to uh, come for the one uh, in the one group and update is coming to the DML. That is the reason I am choosing the update. Okay. Which of the following is the TCL command? TCL means transaction control, transaction control command. Okay. So what is that? Grant, update, rollback, and alter. Which one is the transaction control command is? Grant is a different command. Update is the DML, alter, uh, different one. So I'm going to go for TCL is the rollback, okay? And once that is done, move on to the next question. Which of the following is not the valid consent used in the queries? Valid consent. You, you already know the consent, right? the check constant, unique constant, create index constant, and return constant, which are the, which is not a valid constant. The, I am going to choose the return. Why I have chose the return is create in the index and unique and check these are the constant. It will come under the constant return. It will not be come under the constant. Okay, that is the reason I chose the return. Okay, 
we'll move on to the next question what does the blob in the sql stands for blob is binary language for objects big data large object big large object and binary large object which one is correct okay so binary language of ob for object it is not true big data large object is not true big large object is not true i'm going to choose binary large object okay what does the following statement in sql do sql statement is drop table table name if you use this what it is going to do is it a invalid statement no delete the all the tables of the database no and delete the employee table yes delete the employee table it is going to do delete the all the data from employee table delete the employee table itself drop means it is going to delete all this okay i'm going to choose this okay and move on to the next question which data type can be store can store the unstructured data in the column like the character it is going to store the one character where care it is the variable it can store the more than one character variable length uh, it is going to store numerical oh, you you also saw the numerical like integer plot all the stuffs it is going it is not going to store the raw data unstructured data the only option left is raw one okay you go for the raw one okay what is the expected when you run the below statement what is expected the truncate table customer what you will get here is we'll throw the exception no it is a valid statement we'll delete the data from the customer table but not not commit no we'll delete the all the data from the customer table successfully delete the customer table along with the data delete the all the data from customer table successfully i am going to choose this okay it is a it is not going to delete the table itself it is going to delete the all the data contents it okay and if you want to uh, clear uh, clear the selection also you can do here uh, clear button is there you can do that okay let me move on to the next question which of the following statement is true truncate pre the table space while delete does not delete pre the table space and while the truncate does not okay and both truncate and uh, statement does not pre the space both truncate and delete statement pre the tables no okay let us choose the which one here delete truncate pre the table space while the delete does not you know, i i am going to discuss in the um, upcoming videos what are the difference between the truncate and the delete and when we are doing the delete we can roll back it okay that option also we have and i am going to choose this option okay and how can the name of the how can the name of the customer ramu change to the naidu i want to change the name of the ramu to the naidu for example uh, 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 this is the customer requirement they have the requirement beneficiary name change like they want to change like the ramu to the naidu during that time we have to use the update statement which update statement we have to use is whether the first one a second one third one or the fourth one update customer set uh, name is equal to naidu where name is equal to ramu this is the first one update name there is a no set command though ignore, uh, this is uh, unvalid update customer set having it is we are not going to use having update table customer set name is equal to naidu where it is there but the table it is not there so correct syntax for updating pro name of the customer ramu change to the naidu is this okay update table name set then where clause okay next let us move on to the next question which of the following is not the valid aggregate function which one is not the valid aggregate function here that is the average sum concat or the max which one is this okay which one i am going to choose okay average 
is the valid sum is the valid max is the valid i am going to choose the concat here okay let me clear the all the drawing here so i am going to choose this concat okay let us move on to the next question which of the following below queries correct to display the employee age within 21 and 30 years both inclusive both inclusive means we need to include that okay to uh, between uh, between keywords we need to use uh, to get the all the employee age between these two which query has the between keyword then we are going to choose that okay so select star from where is in okay that is not going to give the okay the second one uh, select star from employee where is between this statement is using the between that is the reason i am choosing this okay see here i am going to choose this and this is the between is not there i am not going to choose this is within also we are not using okay the second one i am going to use okay next next we'll move on to the next question update using the update without uh, without the where clause will do whenever we are doing the update uh, update with the where clause only because without using the where clause update is going to do uh, irrespective of the if you did not mention the any condition it is going to update the all the record okay please do remember it okay so while doing the in the real time so we need to use the at any condition we need to wear clothes because until and unless there is a requirement to update the all the record okay this is the very very important okay so update without the wear clothes they are saying it means it is going to update the all the record which is correct one is update the all the record in the table okay and next uh, change the structure of the table which of the following command is used already uh, my table is existed i want to change that structure using the which command i can do update is going to do no already existing record we can change we are not going to change the structure using the update statement okay uh, uh, modify it is not going to do insert we are going to insert we are going to insert the data we are not modifying using the alter statement we can do we can do the uh, modification uh, modification of the structures structure of the sql okay let us move on to the next question if you don't specify the ac ac means ascending or dsc desc means uh, like the descending the order by command which of the following is used by default if i am in the order by clause i have not mentioned ac or the dsc which of the following is correct so um, there is a requirement uh, like the i want the data in the ascending i want the data in the descending order so during that time uh, if i didn't mention anything uh, what is the default uh, values uh, the record is going to display whether it is nothing will be done dsc esc none of the above so by default order by clause is going to use esc like uh, like the ascending order okay and we came across here we are um, coming to the end of the this section okay so which of the following is used to add the column to the existing table we can add the create statement no update statement no insert statement no so we are going to choose alter one so we have came to the end of this uh, mcq session and after this once you completed all the star mark means it is a mandatory you need to attend this okay and after this if you want to clear the perm or the you want to uh, attend it also you can do it but i have completed all the questions here and i want to hit the submit button here the copy the response will be emailed to the address that you have provided you will be getting the whatever the answer you have chosen you will be getting the email for this okay let me submit it okay what it is asking here is okay buses one minute i have submitted that one and after this uh, this form came and i would like to view the score or if you want to submit the under response means again it is going to open i would like to view my score okay your response has been recorded uh, you will be getting the message like this and view the score you have to click on this okay what is the option okay what is your score you can see 18 questions are there 
I have scored 18 out of 18. Okay, that's a great thing. Okay, and see here, uh, what is the correct one? This is the correct. If it is the wrong means, it is going to show the red uh, red one. Which one is the correct? It is going to show default. And you can see the it is true true, and uh, repel integrity, all the rollback, return, and binary language object, and uh, raw, and all, all the option with the correct mark. It is going to show you like this. You guys have to practice it. And if you have the any query, please reach out to me to the hr.urbiimpo at gmail.com. I am going to respond for you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share and comment if you have the any requirement for the any videos or the anything. Please comment on this videos. I will get back to you. Thank you very much.